Hi, it's Dan here, head gardener at dancoopergarden.com. I'm going to show you how to make a small table centerpiece for Christmas using a flower frog and a decorative ceramic bowl to grace your Christmas table. Now what you're going to need for this is some hot water and some cold water, a decorative bowl, I've got this lovely celadon coloured anemone bowl from Bordello Pinheiro which is on my website, going to need a dinner candle, you can either go for a straight or a tapered one, a flower frog and I've deliberately chosen a large one here for stability but you could use a smaller one if you wish to, some floral putty just in case you want to be careful and secure your flower frog to the base of your bowl, some snips and I really love these flower scissors and some bits from your garden, I've got a mixture here, I've got some chrysanthemums, some ivy berries and some cineraria, so only three different things and that's what I'm going to use to make this. So the first thing I did was to put my flower frog into a heat proof ceramic dish and pour some hot water into it and then I pushed my candle down onto it very firmly and let the water cool. So this water is now cool and I am ready to move it out of here and into my flower bowl and I'm going to put this to one side. Now the hot water melts the wax at the base of the candle and helps it to just sit onto those brass spikes and all you do at the end of Christmas when you're ready to dismantle your arrangement is to pour some more boiling water over the flower frog and all the wax will wash away. So this is a nice heavy large flower frog so I don't need to secure that down because it's really really stable but just make extra sure because you don't want your candle to fall over. So there we are right in the middle, I've got lots of space now to put my flowers around here. So all you need to do with the flower frog is to fill with water until the water is just above the spikes. So two or three centimetres of water have gone into that bowl and you can keep topping it up as Christmas goes on and keep your flowers nice and fresh. Now to begin with I'm going to create a bit of structure for all the flowers to sit into and this is absolutely great. So this is Cineraria Maritima, it grows wild on the cliffs where I live and it makes a lovely pretty silver structure for all the other bits to sit into. So as with all things in a flower frog if you can cut them off straight at the base like that they'll sit on just a bit more easily and I have got four or five sprigs here, the flower frog making a froggy sound there and take off any bits that might end up below the water level, so just at the very bottom and spike them on really firmly, always mind your fingers when you're using a flower frog because you want to spike the leaves and flowers and not your fingers, and take a few more bits off here, it's lovely and soft and I think I'm going to get away with just four pieces of this. So let me just show you, I'm going to rotate it round and you can see that it's filling this and you can't see the flower frog which is what you want in this instance. Now my next little decorative element, free floristry here, so this is a bit of ivy berry, um, these will eventually turn black and look rather splendid and I'm going to cut these off so they're just long enough and I'm going to pop them in between just like that so that they're popping out like little Sputniks and try and get them all a similar length and I'm not really that fussed about having the foliage on here so I'm going to take most of the foliage off so I can concentrate on these pretty seed heads and if you poke them in between you'll just about manage to get them onto the spikes and have them standing a little bit proud of the Cineraria foliage and I'm going to put five of these in I think, that one's being a little bit stubborn, there we go, on to the fourth one, just take these leaves off, you can leave them on if you like but I really want to see the silver of the Cineraria shining through, 
leaving them a little bit proud like that. Maybe that one could be a tiny bit shorter. And the last one. There we go. Popping it in there. So I've got five. I think this one is a little bit long and that's completely fine. So when you're doing these arrangements, don't be afraid to stand back, spin it round a bit. And if it's not looking quite how you want, you can adjust it. So there we go. So that's that element in. Now I'm going to add some flowers because we want a little touch of red, or ready pink in this case. So flowers that are good for these sort of displays are ones that last a long time. So chrysanthemums, cyclamen flowers, roses, they could all work really well in here. Chrysanthemums last a really long time, so they're brilliant. And this one is called Dulwich Pink. It's a very, very pretty, um, soft, I think, cranberry colour. So I'm going to put several sprigs of that in. Again, just removing the leaves that will be below the waterline. And I'm going to pop them in. Now these, you don't really even need to get these on the spikes of your flower frog because all of the cineraria foliage is going to hold them in place. And dot them fairly evenly through the foliage. So you want them quite nicely spaced. Nip them off if they're a little bit long poke them in where you want them and keep working round. If you're doing this, you can rotate the bowl and then you can see what you're working on next. So I'm going to keep putting those in. It's such a pretty colour, matched it up especially with the candle so that it all goes nicely, coordinated table setting. And perhaps you could even find some napkins the same colour as well to go with it. One last bit, which I think I'm going to save for right round the front. I'm going to poke that in there. And there we have it, the finished arrangement. You just need to keep that topped up with water, which you can pour in with a jug at the side and keep it in a reasonably cool place. And that should last you for maybe two to three weeks. And a good match, of course, for this one here. And the finishing touch, of course, they are table centerpieces, so we should light the candles. And there we go. Let's see there, taking a little while to light. Of course, never leave a burning candle unattended. Oh, that one's going to just need a little bit of a, we'll cut that a bit shorter. There we go, they're nearly there. Lovely, perfect. So there we are, my flower fog and ceramic flower bowl table centerpiece for Christmas. You'll find all the kit you need to do this project on my website at dancoopergarden.com along with lots of different colours of bowls and different sizes of flower frog. And if you've enjoyed this video then there are lots more. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find new content uploaded every week. Thank you very much for joining and I'll see you next time.